I have propped you guys up on some strange things. Don't know that I've ever propped you up on a Stanley. Because this, you guys, I've gone through so many tripods in my time as an influencer. And this one bad boy has been with me since the day I got my very first Canon. Actually, it's probably been with me since before that. And it was my toddler that broke it. It was me. And so basically there's this little piece here that tightens and it keeps this from doing this number. <sighs> so anyways, I am so excited. I wanted to get on here. I just talked about it on Instagram. So I wanted to get on here and kind of do a little bit more of a deep dive. Well, Ezra, my little birthday boy is napping. I decided to start this the day after his birthday. I'm someone who whenever I'm doing like fitness, weight loss, whatever, I do things realistic. If it's a diet, which I ref when I say diet, I mean healthy diet in the way a doctor's just like, do you have a healthy diet? Like, I don't like the term diet because it has such a negative connotation and I totally understand why. But whenever I've done any kind of diet, if it's restrictive, it's like, you can't have this. I'm like, oh, <laughs> away with you. And I also don't like when you hear people, like my mom did Noom for a while and it was awful. Like, the lady was like, well, if you ate birthday cake at your um, child's birthday, then you really need to go do X, Y, Z to burn that off. Like it was just not realistic. It had her eating like 1300 calories. It was insane and she hated it. And I was like, you need to stop doing that. It's very unhealthy. So I, for a while was thinking about doing calorie counting and then that kind of led to macro counting. Oh, I gotta get the charger for the... So I was thinking about doing like macro counting. I don't know that much about it. I've always known calorie counting. Um, and I wanna say this, cause anytime I work out and I do end up losing weight, it never fails. People are like, what workouts are you doing? You look great, what workouts are you doing? From April, 2020 to June, 2020, I lost one pound. And I was working out more in that time than I ever have in my life because COVID put me in a really dark place and being, I had never been home like that before. And I was home and when I was home, I really didn't feel safe to leave. Like, if you guys just remember, it was a very odd time in life. And like, everything was just weird. And so I ended up working out, working out so hard. My body did not change much and I lost one pound. And I finally said, okay, enough is enough. I need to take my eating habits serious. I ended up barely restricting calories. Like I'm talking like 1800, 1900 calories a day because you need food for fuel, especially if you're working out a lot more. And I started eating nutrient dense food. I prioritized greens. I drank so much more water. I wasn't constantly eating sweets. And from June to September, I lost 12 pounds. So I was just in such a good place, but I was counting calories then. I wanted to kind of do macros. So I ended up hiring a fitness coach um, because I found one who is realistic. She's not like, oh, you need to work out seven days a week for an hour a day and don't eat cake at your kid's birthday and don't drink this and don't. it's like, no, live your life. Who cares? Like your kid's birthday, eat the cake, boo. Don't you think about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Do not worry about it. Eat the freaking cake at your kid's birthday. And I feel like that's just what, like you see one extreme or the other and it's so crazy. So I finally, like I'm starting this and I'm so excited because I feel like it's the kick I need. Like 2024, I've told Sam, I'm like, this comeback is so personal because I spent two years growing and making these beautiful children. Actually, it's technically like three years I spent making kids. If you're gonna say from like the time I got pregnant with Ezra to, you know, whatever, it's it's been like two and a half, three years. I spent all that time making kids and growing them and then feeding them with my body. And I was just like, I'm over it. So we're moved on. Like I'm not having any more kids. So now it's my turn. And I think this is just gonna be what I need to get back to such a good pre-baby place. Like I used to have so much energy. I felt mentally so clear. I was making healthy eating habits. I wasn't craving sweets as much. I was going on walks. I was going outside and getting sun on my skin. And I just feel like I miss the way I used to feel. And I understand that I'll never be the same. I've given birth, um, but I do. And I know that like, obviously some of my energy comes from the fact that I'm a mom of two and I'm running around like a chick with my head cut off. I know me and I know the difference between feeling tired because of my kids and being tired 
because of poor eating habits or just not moving my body enough. And working out is such a privilege. Like not everybody can do that. There are people who truly just don't get to do that. So it is a privilege and it is something that I'm so grateful that I can do and I'm healthy enough and have the ability and the time to, so I'm gonna do it. Um, but I feel like this coach, Kristen is her name, it's just gonna kind of kick me over the edge and I'm so excited for it. Uh, between getting my skin fixed, getting my boobs done, getting my weight loss under control. This year I'm gonna get this tooth fixed that was a birth defect, the like brown at the bottom of it that probably not a lot of people notice, but I notice. I'm gonna get that fixed. Like it is my year. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of do a little deep dive here. Um, I will also talk about other things in this vlog, but we're gonna kind of focus on those. Today is my baby's second birthday. And I um, am probably done enjoying cake because my stomach actually, like I woke up this morning with the biggest stomach ache because I had so much sugar yesterday, but my baby's too. It was two years ago today that I gave birth and became a mama to the sweetest little redheaded boy. And I told Sam today, like if I could go back now and look at myself when I was, I remember I was standing on the stairs before getting married, um, looking outside, like they were, I was waiting on them to come get me so I could walk down the aisle, like my heart was pounding. If I at 29 could go back and look at 23 year old Ryan and be like, let me tell you everything that's gonna happen, I would not have believed her. I would have stood there and been like, there's absolutely no way you cannot tell me that that's true. And one of the things is like, I, I would not have believed you when you told me that like, I would love being a mom this much. And I always knew I would like being a mom. I knew I wanted to be a mom, but I never knew the level of fulfillment that I could find in having kids and raising them to be hopefully good members of society. And I am a boy mom, but I am a normal boy mom. I love my children a normal amount. I am not creepy. I am not one of those enmeshment people. I don't be like, oh, I dread the day my baby boy gets married. Like I can't wait to have a daughter-in-law to love on one day, like the way I wasn't, you know? I'm just so excited for that. So it's odd to think that it was like even two years ago, like if you would go back and be like, hey, you're in labor, but let me tell you what you're gonna feel like once you give birth. I just would have been like, there's no way I'm gonna feel that. And it's, it's unreal. So that baby boy brings so much joy to our life and it like I, I'm trying to hold back tears as I say this because I've cried so much the past two days like Ezra is everything to us and so is Roman and it's just like I can't believe I get to be his mom. I, Sam even said he's like I can't believe they're ours like I can't believe these are our kids. Um, He did potty in a big boy potty yesterday which is so crazy so we had his birthday on April 7th um because it was a Sunday his friend's birthday was April 6th like his actual birthday was that day so we went to his party on the 6th and the 7th we had Ezra's because a lot of the same people went to both parties the families were just different um but April 7th of 2023, we were setting up for his first birthday and that was the day he was finally like, okay, I'm done taking a couple steps, I'm walking. And he literally stood up and walked like 10, 15 steps and he never sat down again. Like he was just like, okay, I'm, I walk now, this is what I do. And he had taken a couple steps, but it wasn't anything crazy. April 7th, he was like, I'm walking. Yesterday, He's been playing around with the idea of potty training, but yesterday he walked over to me and he like had his hands in his diaper and I was like, baby, get your hands out of your diaper. And he went, no. And I went, do you have to use the bathroom? And he goes, yes. So I took him in the bathroom and he was a little distracted at first and he used the big boy potty on April 7th. So one year to the day from when he was walking, he used the big boy potty. But this morning he did um, look at me. He goes, I have to poop. I poop is what he was saying. And I was like, oh, you have to poop. And then he just pooped in the floor. <laughs> I was like, dude, you're in the shower. Like, please don't poop in the shower floor. So I ordered the oh crap potty training book or whatever. I'll link it, it's very highly recommended. And we are gonna potty train this boy. It's time, I can't believe it. My babies too, my baby. And he'll always be my baby, but like my little baby, the baby that made me a mom, the baby that changed my life. Uh, lots of life changes. Just so many and so all amazing. I'm going out on the back porch with the bar. <gasps> Hi, birthday boy. Do you need more bubbles already? More bubbles? Yeah, probably. So this little lawnmower one of our friends got for him. 
bubbles come out of here. But yeah, he drives it pretty, uh, he might be out of bubble, bubble fluid already. So the roses. Everything out front. You don't There's know a lot of roses out front. Well, did you water them? I water everything in front, yes. Okay, so you water the roses then. Yeah. Look, you gotta push it slow, baby. Everything out front and the bushes on the side. So this is what you gotta do. When you Whoa. do this, let's do this. Whoa. So whenever you push the mower, no, wait, that's all. All done. Look, so what you gotta do when you push the mower, is you gotta be slow, okay? Look at all the bubbles. Uh, yeah, see, because like, they don't come out at first. I think that's why he pushes it so fast. But the eclipse is supposed to be happening. So cloudy, and we're not really interested in watching it. But we are outside, because my uncle is like, what's it called? Not an exterminator, because that's not what he does. He sprays for, you know, to keep, prevent bugs and stuff. He has like thermite. Uh, Maybe he is, I don't know if that's bonds. what you actually would call as an exterminator. Yeah. But he um, comes in, sprays, and he does use an organic spray, but it gives me a raging headache. So, we are just outside, chilling. Look at that, look at these two. Like I got nothing but stretch marks from this one. This kid, is not even, does not even sort of look like me. Look at that kid, look at that face. That's Sam's face. He has a little bruise on his cheek. <laughs> so sweet. Ezra's ready. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Ready? One, two, three. Uh oh. Got a little bruise on her cheek already. Y'all are so cute. I just love one morning and the normal slow. Wake up. It is 7 a.m. We've been up for what, an hour? Yeah. Um, but I wanted to. What? I do Oh. I was like, um. It never fails on Monday. I'll go in without it. Taking longer just to check into the main office. Right here. I have to pull that. Um, so Sam's getting his ID badge. He just left for work. But I wanted to show you guys supplements. Let's talk supplements because we're talking about weight loss the whole the whole night. Babe, was my Amazon package out there? Hold on. I got a tripod delivered overnight. Oh, she's fancy. What's it like? It's like a completely separate piece. To pick up no. You already had la la, baby. Yeah, I can. You already had some. You've already had a lot of yogurt, baby. That's what la la is. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I don't know. Well, okay. So, first and foremost, I have been really consistent with my supplements lately. Um, there are. There's a brand I've been loving. I'll talk a little bit more about this one after coffee. I do intermittent fast. Some people would not consider this intermittent fasting because I drink things. Like, I'll drink my greens, I drink my coffee. Any diet, any, any thing that says you can't have coffee and specifically you can't have creamer, I don't want it. I don't do it, I'm not participating. Count me out, miss me with that. I'm not doing it. If being in my best health ever means like I can't have coffee and creamer, yeah, mm -hmm. don't want that. Two kids, two and under, miss me with it. So I'll talk more about this brand in a minute. I have tried the Pimfit, the collagen. I am still taking my liquid collagen though because this is a powder. You have to add it to something else. We'll get to that. These are the three products I take first thing in the morning before I do anything else. So this is the U Earth and Ocean Greens. It says it helps support your immune system, boost antioxidants in your body, assist with improved digestion, and help deliver nutrients that you crave. 
um please for the love still eat your green food i see people the unhealthiest influencers on tiktok that i've ever seen and they'll be like i take my greens and they're linking them and then i watch what they eat and i'm like okay but where's the offset like you still have to eat green things in your diet you cannot just expect this to be all for you so this I add chlorophyll, this is new. Look up the benefits of chlorophyll, check and see if it's good for you, check with your doctor, and by the way, don't, none of this pregnant nursing. Just leave it out. Uh, you don't need to be worried about this kind of stuff while you're pregnant and nursing. Just work it on drinking water and eating nutrient-dense food. Well, it says it's a detoxifying stick pack. This is lime twist. It actually makes this taste even better. I like this on its own, but this just makes it so much better. Um, this has like, I mean, it's insane how many antioxidants this has. Like it's, um, I think I saw it can help like even prevent cancer. It has helped people like that were getting gray hair. They didn't have as many gray hairs. Uh, it's kind of like a booster. That's what we're gonna refer to this as. Armor colostrum. It's like a powder colostrum that they've extracted that's excess from cows. Um, it has so many immune benefits, just like regular. So this is my trio. Greens, booster for the greens, immunity. Flavorless, tastes good together. Six ounces of very cold water. Chelsea, why I refuse to get up on coffee? This is what we're looking like with chlorophyll and colostrum. I do have a discount code for this as well. Mariah R15 gets you 15% off the website. And it is so everything. I'll talk about the trim fit later is my favorite. It's what started me on my love for this company. And then you do need one of these. And I've seen people that sip greens. I personally cannot do that. It is not for me. I need to just chug them and get it done. They taste fine, but it just, I don't know. It's just, this isn't something I want to step on, you know what I mean? It still has a little bit of grit to it. Really, since adding in the chlorophyll, I've only been doing this for a couple days. I've been doing these for like a couple weeks. Mmm, that lime twist flavor. It's really good. So, don't drink the bubbles. They can make you feel like, I don't know, they're just weird. So, anyway, that's the greens I start out with. Eat your greens throughout the day. This has been such a long process to get here. Um, but that's where we start. And now I'm going to drink coffee, but I don't eat anything until 11. One more thing, because I keep all that stuff in here. This is the creamer I use. It's delicious. Chobani sweet cream. The best one and it's so hard to find I feel so like a lot of y'all know they make a lot of really good ones but sweet cream is the best um I will link these Amazon Jamie's below they're so cute but I did forget to show y'all I did forget to show y'all liquid collagen from Amazon this stuff is I've been taking it for, it'll be two years in June. This is like a tried and true. I've been taking it for since two years, for two years in June. Um, helps your postpartum hair grow. I took it while I was pregnant, breastfeeding. So I swear it made Roman's hair grow. Um, it just makes the postpartum hair loss gap smaller because although you can't stop that hair loss, you can promote growth in the meantime. So I feel like I didn't have bald spots near as much with Roman, even though I lost hair for double the time like I never had bald spots with Roman um this one has vitamin C in it as well so y'all have heard me talk a lot about this you get on it I don't have a discount code or anything for that one but I do for the greens okay now I'm gonna drink my coffee my mom is coming to get the boys in 30 minutes and then we got to get started on major filming today because sam was home all day yesterday for e's birthday we didn't do 
we didn't do any, like I didn't get to do as much work stuff as I usually would on a Monday. Okay, so we're back at the pantry. It's been a couple hours and we're about one hour out from eating breakfast. So I wanted to show y'all, let's talk a little bit more about the trim fit situation. So you need to do this two scoops a day to really see the most benefits. This is hands down one of the coolest things ever and it tastes fine, right? It is sweet. So when I first tried this, I did not love it. It was very sweet. I feel like once I got used to it though, it doesn't bother me. So it tells you on here to add it to 12 to 14 ounces of water or just water to reach desired sweetness, drink over a period of an hour. So it's not necessary to drink over the course of an hour, but I would not drag this one out over the course of a whole day. My goal is 100 ounces of water a day with the coach that I have. Um, that's the goal that you get every day. So this is amazing because it can help burn fat, control appetite, increase energy, and love how you feel. I do definitely think that since I have started drinking this, I have noticed an increase in my energy without the crash. I have noticed that I definitely, um, like I lost a few pounds after the first few days of this, but it says control appetite. I would not say that this is an appetite suppressant. What I would say is that this kicks your sweet cravings out the door. I crave nothing sweet. And on the days where I don't drink this, I notice I crave sweets again. So this to me is more, it just like helps me kind of keep that sweet tooth under control. So this is a little bit of a like purpley color. I don't think they have multiple flavors of this one. Mixed berry to me, it just tastes like a propel. What I do, hold on. I need a mop in here because Ezra literally spilled ketchup all over the floor today. Ketchup. It's literally 10 in the morning right now. I spilled ketchup in the floor by seven. All right, so like I said, you can do two of these a day to get like the best benefits from them. You can do one a day, especially to start. Um, personally, what I do, I start with one and I chug it. Then throughout the day, over the next like hour or so, I will drink this 40 ounces. Beyond that, I will only drink water for the rest of the day. I'm done with my coffee. Um, but I feel like just doing like one of these as a just you chug it it just is like a, a jump start however in order to make one of these tubs last for uh, Two scoops a day. You are gonna need two tubs again. I have a discount code For this it tastes so good. It tastes like do you guys remember? berry like or Yeah, it was like berry propel. I don't even know if they still have it that's what it tastes like to me. It's just like a berry propel. It's so good. It's just sweet. All right, so I've got this mixed. I've got the powder there and I've got to stir it with a straw. And again, I lost like a few pounds the first week, like four. I think it was four. After the first seven days of doing this um, twice a day, I haven't lost any more since then. I don't think it's like gonna just make the weight fall off magically, like you have to still put in the work, but this just kicks the cravings. And I think that's why I lost the weight was because I wasn't constantly seeking out my next sweet treat. Like I was just eating normal and very healthy. Like I was making healthier choices and it was wild how it happened so quick. So I'm gonna bottoms up with this one. And I would not add anything here to a hot drink. Personally, I don't feel like the flavors are good unless you do like a hot tea maybe, but for me, cold's the way. So cold water here, um, and usually I put it in a glass, but we do have these like plastic cups that I just wanna throw in the recycle. So that's why I drink it out of that. And then I will drink out of this. I will say the only downside to it is it does kind of leave like a leftover taste, which isn't a huge deal. So say you put this in, you, you chug your trim in the morning, you put your trim in your water, and then you head to work. You drink your 40 ounces, you fill it back up at work without washing it. You may get a hint, a tiny hint of berry flavor. Um, it's not gonna be anything crazy, but personally, I just like the taste of water. Like I just think water is so good. So I will do <laughs> one of these. And then this will just get washed and then I'll actually, like I have my pink Stanley by my bed. So I'll just probably drink out of my pink Stanley once I'm done with this one. So 
this is my first 40 ounces for the day, my first full one. Um, and then I aim for at least another two, but the goal is 100 ounces a day. That's just, that's a look. I have to get a new vlog camera. Ezra broke this one, so I've got him wrapped up. He's so red. We have been contact napping. Can you guys see the marks on his face? We have been stuck together with like an inch and a half of sweat. And it's been two hours. And I finally had to wake him up because I was like, you're gonna mess up your nap schedule for the rest of the day. And homeboy can't get off that because he won't sleep good tonight, um, which will make him cranky tomorrow. He cut his first two teeth. And so I've just been laying over there and I heard Ezra and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get up. So that's why he's red. Because this internal temp is probably like a million degrees right now. But we gotta go get E. And I have a little bit of a bone to pick with myself and Ezra. Ezra broke my vlog camera, so you guys cannot see what I see. Let me see, let me show you. So there's this little smart feature on this Canon G7X Mark II. That's what this is. I've had, always had this vlog camera, right? So you see how there's this little like thing that pops up where I can see myself. Well, it flips upside down or like to where basically I'm not upside down. Um, it shows me what you guys are seeing when the little like screen has popped up. Well, Ezra, like broke it yesterday and now I have to like push the screen a certain direction and hold it at the right angle for it to not be upside down. So yeah, I had to order a new vlog camera which is gonna be super fun. Um, but I went completely different. I went with a Sony because I used to have a Sony and I liked it, but there were so many features. It wasn't a great vlogging camera. Um, so I got a Sony vlogging camera instead. What do you think? What do you think, my little Sam? A little mini Sam with your two front teeth and your chubby teeth. But yeah, I'm really frustrated. So I'm having to like work in OT here holding this chubby baby and then hold the vlog cam with like the back all pushed. But we're gonna go get Ezra up. And I did wanna show you guys a really good, um, <laughs> a really good snack that I'm loving. And another little wrap that you guys have got to try from Costco if you haven't yet, but let's go get E up. It's to be 80 here today, and I am freezing in the house. I don't think it's actually gonna be 80 because of the like rain and the way everything's just been. But okay, Ezra's up. He's playing with Bubba and Carly walked around in just a diaper. Um, but if you guys have never had this before, oh my gosh, it's so good. It is this, the Southwest chicken wrap from with sauce from Costco. You don't like this. We try this every time, bub. You eat it and then you don't like it. It is absolutely delicious from Costco in their little, little pre-made area. And then I'm also, I found a bunch of these bars in the snack size. I always struggle to find the snack size anywhere except for Publix and I don't really go to Publix that often. So, of course I found these at Publix, but these are really good. So. This is gonna be my snack today, and then this is gonna be my late lunch. But I actually think I'm just gonna go ahead and call it here um, because I vlogged a lot, I think. I don't, I don't know. But we got a lot to do, and then mommy's gotta wait for a new vlog camera to come in. So we will, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching.